Grade 8 math number 2.4b, multiply and divide with scientific notation. Okay, as we've discussed scientific notation in the last several videos, we know it's a way to write very large or very small numbers as whole numbers and decimals that are multiplied by powers of 10. And if you're still confused, you need to go back a couple videos and watch my videos on scientific notation, okay? We're in 2.4b, go back to 2.3 and then you'll learn all about this, okay? And it says that we have to have at least one digit in front of the decimal for it to be correctly written in scientific notation. So, numbers can be written in scientific notation and they can be multiplied or divided by using properties or rules of exponents. In video 2.1c, we learned about the product rule. And it says when multiplying like bases, we add the exponents. That is, the bases can't be zero. And in video 2.1d, we learned about the quotient rule. It says when dividing like bases, we subtract the exponents. Well, since we're multiplying and dividing scientific notation, the bases are going to be like bases because they're all going to be 10. But be careful of zeros. Remember the zero product rule that we learned in video 2.1e. Now, if you haven't seen any of these videos on these rules, you need to go back and watch these. It's really important. You're going to be very confused about exponents for the rest of your life if you don't know these rules. You're constantly going to be saying, what am I doing, what am I doing? The minute you know these rules, it's going to be a piece of cake. It's going to be so easy to do all these. So, all base numbers with a zero exponent are going to equal a 1. The base can't be zero, just like in the product and quotient rule. If we have 10 to the zero power, it's just a 1. That's what that means. Any number that's got a zero exponent is a 1. So, if you simplified your problem from multiplication or division, and you ended up with 1.2 times 10 to the 0 power, that really means you've got 1.2 times 1, and it simplifies to just 1.2. See? So when we multiply, we multiply the multipliers. Those would be this right here, 1.4 and the 6.3. And we leave the powers of 10 alone for right now. So we multiply 1.4 times 6.3, and we get 882. And because there's two decimal hops in the equation, there's two decimal hops in the product, so we've got 8.82. Now we deal with the powers of 10. We've got a 3 exponent and a 4 exponent. What we do is we write it as 8.82 times 10, and it's 3 plus 4, so it's a 7. That's our answer. Now if you need to simplify it, we just move our decimal place, seven hops, one, two, see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got 88,200,000. That would be it simplified, okay? Now when we're dividing, we remember that all fractions are just little division problems. So we're gonna divide the multipliers, this part right here. And 4.82 divided by two comes out to 2.41. Now we deal with our exponents. The quotient rule says we subtract the exponents. We had a 9 and a 5. 9 take away 5 is 4. So our answer is 2.41 times 10 to the fourth power. If we have to simplify it, we move that decimal point over 4 hops because that's the exponent by the 10. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get 24,100. Now what would happen if the zero product rule came into play? What if we were dividing 4.6 times 10 to the third power by 2 times 10 to the third power, and the powers were the same? Well, we would do the multipliers. 4.6 divided by 2 would be 2.3, and 3 take away 3 is 0, so we'd have 2.3 times 10 to the 0 power, which the 10 to the 0 power is a 1. Remember, any number with a 0 exponent is a 1. That means, simplified, our answer would be 2.3. See? So just be careful when the exponent becomes a 0. Don't flip out. It's no big deal. It just means a 1. Okay? And go back and watch video 2.1e. That'll really help you. You should make notes of all the videos in the 2.1 series so that you know all of these product rules and properties so that you can move forward and not have to struggle so much. Make your life easier by watching a few videos. Okay? We're going to talk about how we can multiply using a calculator for powers of 10, okay? And there's a E and an EE -E on your calculator, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.